What's up, everybody? Come on. Let's try this again. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Happy Thursday. That means almost Friday. It's there. It's almost there. It's on the weekend. Hang in there. We're almost there. We're good. All right, everybody. Very excited today. I'm trying. We're going to try out something, something pretty cool today. I'm excited about it. You should be excited, too. But let's say hello to everybody in the house first. Adel Razak. Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, lolly Lolly, what's up, what's up? Bushra, what's up? How you doing, Bushra? Niha, niha. Hello, how you doing? You're back. Uh, who else we got in here? Brahim, my man, my bra, is in the house. Denise is back. What's up, Denise? Gertie's in the house. Hello, Gertie. Dominican love. Uh, who else we got in here? <laughs> Miriam, hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, Mariam. Hello to you. Caritas, what's up? I'm following a video on The New Yorker about making bread. Video subtitle. Sounds like a party, Caritas. Don't don't stop the party. That's great. Tony, what's up? Hello, internet classmates. Uh, do do do. Scroll scroll scroll. Fadma, hello. How you doing? What's up? A big hello from Vancouver, Canada, to you. Uh, Julian, my man. What's up, Julian? Is that Julian? Julian, are you back in the house, Julian? You've been gone for so long. It seems to be him. It seems to be the real Julian. Uh, who else we got in the house here? Judith is here. Hello, Judy. Uh, okay, I've got most people. Scroll, scroll. Manira is back. What's up, Manira? Uh, do, do, do. Natty, hello, Natty. Medhat, hello, Medhat. Hello, Aliyah, what's up? And do, 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 do. Abdul Raham, what's up, man? C, 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 C. Ah! <laughs> what's up? Great, great, great tagger name. Uh, what else we got? Man, it's a big house. It's a big house today. A lot of people. Only human, aren't we all? What's up? Uh, Carla, hello. Nizreen, how you doing? Carlos, my man, he's sleeping. We're, we're, I promise, once I say my hellos, we'll start. I promise. Mm, did I miss anybody? Faiza, what's up, Faiza? Abdul Rahman, I think I got you. I think we're good. It's a big house today, man. You guys are, I like it though. It's good. It's good to have a big house. And there's more, it's warmer. There's more people in the house when it's warm. Thank you, Lolly. Thank you very much. It's a new shirt. Uh, who else we got in here? Nizreen, yeah. Abinash, hello. Marjorie's back, yeah. All right, cool. Alexander, what's up? All right. I've done my what's ups, my hellos. Let's get into it because I'm kind of pumped about today's topic. So here we go. Let's, let me give you the document. So if you are new to the stream, possibly you, Alexander, this is how we do it. I'm going to give you, I'm going to throw metaphorically this document into the chat. Please open it, and you'll have access to everything we're going to work on today. Ba-boom, it's in the chat. So let me warm you up, shall we? I know Waffa Waffa likes to get warmed up. I don't think Waffa Waffa's in here, but let's warm you up. Anyways, we get all warm and schnubbly. All right, what makes a great story? So please, let's go here. I'm not going to open up my other screen because I want to keep it... Well, anyways, you're already in my documents, scrolling through my docs. Uh, what makes a good story? This is what we're going to talk about today. Actually, I was going—I'll be honest—I I wanted to talk about movies today, and I started going there, and then I was like, I started doing something else, and now I'm, now it's a totally different topic. But it's still about movies, so that's cool. So, what makes a great movie? Let's look at some movies, shall we? Let's see. Great. What happens if I Google amazing movies, great movies of all time? Let's say great movies. Let's see what we get. And let's see. Ooh, there we go. All the Oscars. We've been t I talked about the Oscars the other day. Oh, these are... Uh, give me one. Oh, that's good. Uh, what is that from? Don't remember. These are too many. Oh, yeah. What about that? The Godfather. We know this man. That man's awesome. Huh? Ahmed, introduction, body, conclusion? Maybe. <laughs> Could be. Script, yeah, scripts make a good movie. First thing, the title, title's gotta be catchy. Let me add that, I'm, I'll be honest, I haven't done a lot of vocabulary with you. If you say, Kent, you're not giving us a, enough vocabulary, please tell me, and I promise I will put more. So let me put some vocab in there, a catchy title. Actually, you know what, I honestly don't have time for that today, because there's a lot to get through today. But if you want more vocab, please tell me, let me know, and I will put more on that document. But sometimes I just get carried away, yeah, we're all good. We don't need Kent to like type anything on the document. Okay. 
Yeah, just fine. Uh, Matt Hat's the only one who's got an opinion on this, but okay, appreciate that. Great movies. What, what, so what makes a great movie? Um, these photos are not what I want. Great, let's go great movie scenes. Yeah, there we go. And maybe some gifts. Yeah, I like my gifts. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, that's an old one. What is that? Is that is that Platoon or something like that? Or Full Metal Jacket? That's a crazy one. That's a good classic movie if that's the one I'm thinking about. Oh yeah, a little bit of a little bit of this man in the Matrix, a little bit of that, yeah. A little bit of suspense, a little bit of action. Everybody loves a little action. Zineb, an unexpected end. Ooh, a little surprise, a little twist, yeah. In a good way, not a disappointing ending. Sometimes you get those artistic movies and they just kind of finish and you're like, what happened? And I guess it's cool, you know, sometimes just that shock is the feeling that you're supposed to have. Like, oh my God, what just, you don't want to know more and it kind of leaves you in suspense. That's pretty cool. More Matrix, what's that? Not sure. Now, what else we got here? Famous movie scenes. Hmm. <laughs> what was that one called? Oh, who's this? I don't know. I've never really seen an Audrey Hepburn movie, but she was quite famous back in the day. Okay, what else we got here? Famous movie scenes, Liam Neeson. He's pretty cool. Is that Shaquille O'Neal? Oh my goodness, that's Ryan Gosling. That's a scene from that movie. But there you go. Girls eat it up. Probably like that. Oh, there we go. Oh wait, come back, come back. I wanted that one. Ah, oh, it's gone. Where is it? I wanted the Titanic scene. No, Ryan Gosling, no, bad. Okay, anyways, you get the idea. Famous scenes, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. I'm listening to music at the court versus I am listening to music in the court. This is a very random question, Abinash, but uh, at, general location at. In means inside, and you're not inside the court, that's impossible. Makes you think, use your brain. Unity of time and place. Cinematography, nice word. If the story is relevant to your life somehow, that's some good advice as well. Makes you feel better. Cool, yeah, that's right. Feel good. We call those feel good movies. The feel good movie of the year. What was the feel good movie of the year? An inspiring history. You mean of the, the character or history in general? A great movie intervenes uh, the audience and keeps them on track. So intervenes, maybe not intervenes, but um, I don't know how to explain that. Uh, sound. Sound is good. Star Wars, classic soundtrack, right? Uh, some newer movies are doing that a lot more. The Hobbit, they used a lot of soundtrack. Uh, Titanic, did they use a lot? I'm not sure. Bruce Willis, classics, some old stuff there. Okay, oh yeah, sorry, gotta get that in there. That dude was amazing in that movie. Isn't that, a, that's an awesome gift too, just him clapping. He looks so scary, man. He was so into that character. Intrigue, yes. All of those things, uh, Miriam says, make you live the story. So you feel the story, you're involved in the story. Maybe that's what Brahim was saying. You, a great movie involves you inside the story kind of thing. Uh, what else? Plot. Plot means story, so a good story as well. All of those things are really awesome for creating a good movie. So here we go. Let's go here. And what we're going to do today, so let me introduce you to what we're actually going to get in today. I think you're going to enjoy it. So here's what. So please take a look at that. So today, today, you are going to learn what makes a great hero story. Let me add that. It's really about heroes. So what makes a good hero? He's got to be brave. Uh, she, she's got to be independent. Or maybe learn to be independent, right? So we're thinking about heroes, men, women, maybe dogs, cats. They have a lot of dogs and cats in movies these days. So what you're going to do is you're going to do this. You're going to watch the following video called What Makes a Hero. It's a short video, so you only have to watch the video until 2.54. So basically, you can watch this video, watch the video until around 2 minutes and 54 seconds. Because this will give you most of the information that you need for today's class and it's going to set you up for what we're going to do and you're going to learn a little bit along the way. So before I give you the link, and I know you have the link already, I'm going to give you the question. So you do also have to answer these questions while you watch the video. So here's question number one. 
what does the status quo mean? What does that mean, status quo? So we say the hero status quo, something like that. What does that mean? So that's the first question you have to. So when you're done, when you have the answer, type it into the chat, and then we're going to talk about it together. Question number two, what kind of people usually help the hero of a story? So you have one hero, and the hero usually has help. What kind of people usually help the hero? Because you cannot be, be if you're talking about a basketball court, Abinash, that means you are literally inside the basketball court. Usually people are playing inside the basketball court, so why would you be in the middle of the basketball court listening to music? Could be a little bit weird, unless, unless that's true, in which case it is possible. Uh, next one. Yeah, I think Lolly's got it. Uh, C, what does trials mean? What does it mean? And you don't have to use your dictionary. You can basically watch the video, and you can get the answer to that question as well. Status quo is probably uh, not moving. There you go. Very nice. OK, so somebody answered it already. That's cool. You're still going to watch the video. I think you're going to like it. D, only got a few questions for you, not too many. D, what happens in the approach? What, what the heck is the approach? Well, watch the video, answer the question. And last one, very important. What kind of treasure, treasure, what's treasure, do heroes usually get in movies or in stories? Shouldn't say in movies, I should change that to in stories. So that's the last one. So that's the last one. So, so there you go. You got only five questions. And basically, the first one was already answered. So you only got four questions. So I would like you to go to this link here. And I'm not allowed to show this video on YouTube, but you can watch it. So here's your video. Watch the video, answer the questions, send them to the chat. And while you're doing that, I'm also going to, I might read a little bit of the video. I can't watch the video, but I can read it. So go ahead, jump in, watch the video. I want you to learn what makes a hero. And then I want you to answer those four, basically four questions. Okay, so go ahead. <laughs> JB. JB is on point today, on fleek. Respect women and treasure. Well, that's that's that might be your superhero story, JB. So I want you to also watch that video. Check it out because after that, <laughs> we got some fun stuff we're gonna do. So go ahead, in video, watch it. While you guys are watching, I might go scroll through a few things, and I might uh, I might do a few of the answers myself. I might read along while you guys are doing it. All right. So I'm imagining everyone is criminal court. Oh, criminal court. Let's see, criminal court, Evanesh. Why can't, why we can't, why can't we? Number one, why can't we listen to music in court? Are you asking me this question, or is it just checking if it's a grammatical sentence? Uh, inside is usually about movement. Walk inside, go outside, right? Jump inside. So inside is usually about movement. And you can say inside the court, it's fine. Or you could also say in the court, and they're both basically correct. So no, both are possible. All right, so status quo. So while you guys are doing that, I'm just going to do status quo, because I know it's already done. So what is status quo? I know that somebody gave a definition, but I'm going to do it anyways. So status quo definition. The existing state of affairs. Kind of normal. Things are normal. Status quo. So if I go here, what am I doing? Let's go here. So what does status quo mean? It kind of means the existing state of affairs, like every day to day. It says especially about social issues or political issues, but it's kind of just the normal situation. Nothing's changed. And that's exactly it. Hello, Diara. How you doing? Um, I'm going to give you this link. Everybody's watching a video, Diara, so please go ahead and watch a video. And there's four questions you can see in the chat that I'd like you to answer. So go ahead, watch that video, and then try to answer some of those questions after you're done. Next one, so part B, so maybe someone can give me an answer. What kind of people usually provide help to the hero of a story? Part C, what does trials mean? D, what happens in the approach? Don't know. And E, what kind of treasure do heroes usually receive in stories? What's the treasure? Is it gold or is it something else? All right, so let me see here. I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to start reading just because I got nothing to do while you guys are watching the video. Status quo. 
That's where we start. One o'clock. Call to adventure. The hero receives a mysterious message, an invitation, a challenge. Two o'clock. Assistance. The hero needs some help. Probably from someone older and or someone wiser. So the assistance is help. The hero needs some help. Help probably from someone older or wiser. What's up, Diego? How you doing, bro? Uh, we're watching a video, man. So uh, there's some questions, A, B, C, D, E. And then there's a video link. The last thing I put, so the Smart English one, is a video. So go ahead, watch the video, and do your best to answer those four or five questions. All right, go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to put that answer in there. I'm going to skip ahead. I'm kind of going to do the answers while you guys are watching the video. This will save time because I want to get to our stories today. So what kind of people usually provide help to a story? Um, probably someone someone who is older or wiser. So like a wise person, like an, you know, like a wise old man. Like Gandalf. Gandalf would help you. Status quo, thank you. Very nice. Ex the existing state of affairs. <laughs> Vinash, oh my goodness. If I am listening to music in the court, doesn't mean that I am listening in the middle of the criminal court or inside the court. Grammar, please. Just inside. Uh, not in the middle of the criminal court, because if you say in the middle, then it's in the middle. Uh, so if you say inside, it just means somewhere inside we don't know where. That's it. All right, someone older or wiser. Next one, trials. Oh, thank you very much, Marjorie. She's got an answer. D, it's the time to face the biggest ordeal. Yeah, exactly. The biggest problem. That's what the hero does in, in what was it? D, the approach. It's when the hero faces, it's time to face the biggest problem, the biggest fight of the hero's life, right? Very nice, good. All right, cool, just got C and D. What does trials mean? Now I'm gonna keep reading. Oh, it's a long doc. Okay, so, mm -hmm. trials, trials, trials. Uh, so it says here, three o'clock, departure. The hero crosses the threshold, maybe leaves their comfort zone. They go into a new adventure, cross the threshold from his normal safe home and enters a special world, some new place, and, of course, adventure. Oh, here we go. Kareas has got another one. The hero gets help from older, wiser people. Thank you. Thank you, Kareas. You got it as well. Uh, so they get help. They cross the threshold. They go into adventure. We're not in Kansas anymore. Totally new world. Four o'clock. Trials begin. A hero... Being a hero is hard work. It's difficult. Our hero solves a riddle, slays a monster, kills a monster, escapes from a trap. So trials, what does trials mean? Uh, trials basically means uh, difficult problems. Basically means problems. But we might use this word for movies. So what does trial mean? It basically means problems or obstacles. You know, something in your life which is difficult. So if you go on an adventure, there's going to be some problems, right? Because adventures are all about the ups and downs. Okay, cool. And reading on, almost, almost done there. Let's see here, what else we got? Okay, next one. Uh, here we go, last one. Uh, trial, being a hero is hard work, solve Brizzle. Five o'clock, approach. It's time to face the biggest ordeal, the biggest problem, the hero's worst fear. So the, the hero has to confront, confront their fear. Uh, six o'clock, crisis. This is the darkest hour. The hero faces death and possibly even dies, only to be reborn, born again. Seven o'clock, treasure, roar. As a result, why did I say roar? As a result, the hero claims some special treasure, special recognition, or maybe a power, or maybe just like improves their personality. As a result, the hero claims some, you know, all this stuff. Results of this can vary. No, 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 no. Nine o'clock, return from the adventure. Go back to your normal life in the ordinary world. And 10 o'clock, new life. This, this character went from being a normal person to being a strong person, kind of a hero. Treasure, thank you, would be power. There's an example of treasure. Very nice. What else was an example of treasure? I think there were at least two more. Uh, what were the other ones? Treasure could be special recognition. Like people say, oh man, you you did a great job. You saved the village or something like that. All of those are good things. Special recognition. 
So people say, oh man, you did such an amazing job. They, they recognize that person. Special recognition. And what was the last one? Was it love? Was it love? It's got to be love. Uh, he claims, oh, there was only two. Special recognition or power. Love. You're right. You're right, Lolly. That is the third answer. That's not even in the movie, but you know it is the correct answer. Of course the hero gets love. Love from his friends, love from his family, love from his love. All of those things. Boom. All right, so I think people are going to start coming back in a bit. So let's go. Let's go to the next section, shall we? So you got basically the idea. You know how a superhero story is built, and they all kind of follow the same cycle. Harry Potter. Uh, apparently, they talk about what was that movie they talk about in there? Oh, what's it called? The one with Atnis or whatever. What's her name? The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games, does it follow the same pattern? Yeah, it kind of does. Frodo, oh man, Frodo, Lord of the Rings, where does he go with his crew? They go in the mountains, they fight, you know, evil people, they come back, heroes, boom, follow the formula. So that's the superhero formula. Boom, so here's what we're gonna do today. So today is your lucky day, because today we're gonna make you a superhero. And your life story, yeah, it is new and interesting, you're right. Uh, thank you, thank you, Jerome. So here, this is what we're going to do today. Today, let me put this in there officially, you are going to become a hero in your own life story. How does that sound? Does that sound awesome? That sounds pretty awesome. I'm excited about this. So, let's build, shall we? Let's build, today we're going to build you into your superhero character. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to start with this question, which you're going to have to answer. So here we go. Hello, Ahmed from Egypt. So, have you ever had an experience which solved a problem in your life? And what was that experience? So please go to this question here. This is how we're going to build into our superhero persona. Uh, this is the question we need to answer first. So let's do that. Let's talk about this one first. Hero Building 101. Here it is. Have you ever had an experience? Mm -hmm. Have you ever had an experience which solved a problem in your life? What was the experience? Okay. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, brother. I'm feeling all right. I'm actually cutting my own hair these days. It's not so difficult. You just bzzz and it's all good. So, what was the experience that you had? Have you ever had an experience which solved a problem in your life? What was the experience? So let me tell you a little story, and this is a story that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna also build myself a superhero today. So when I was 22 years old, I wanted to travel and I was doing the same thing in my life every day and it wasn't exciting. The situation was the same and I, I needed some challenge and I didn't know what to do. So I decided, I started looking at like, how can I travel? How can I travel? I wanted to see the world. I knew the world was much bigger than, than I could see in my small little bubble. So I started thinking, how can I travel? I started searching. Oh, teach English. What is that? Check it out. Say, oh, you can actually teach English overseas. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So I went and I did a course, I did a teaching course, my first teaching course, which was a really important experience. And then after that, I went to Taiwan. And in Taiwan, I was alone. I was independent. I had to speak Mandarin. Can you imagine me speaking Mandarin? It was horrible uh, for, for them to listen to me because my Mandarin would suck. Uh, okay, so that was it. I went there. I started learning Mandarin. I was living on my own. I did my own taxes. I got my own visa. Mom and dad were not around. I had to be my own person. And that was such a huge experience for me. And it kind of opened my eyes to, number one, the world and how big it is and meeting people from different cultures and number two I kind of found the job that I like to do travel meet new people boom put them together teach English oh of course it's so simple okay so this was this is this is a story that I'm gonna talk about today so I want you to answer the same question for yourself have you ever had an experience which solved a problem in your life maybe you took a vacation came back felt better maybe you took a training course in school came back from your course you got a new job what did you do in your life that solved the problem which you had before all right let's see if we can get a few answers yeah have you ever had an experience which solved a problem in your life what was that experience so my problem was I did I wanted to travel I want to see the world 
And so I went to Taiwan and I did a teaching certificate. You know, I got my certificate and I went there. What did you do? So let's see what you got. JB, the course was one month. It's called the CELTA, C-E-L-T-A. Great course, really good. Uh, you should take it. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, there we go, Julian. Ha <laughs> ha All right, Julian, come on. Give me a real one. Hello, Lili, Lili. I don't know how to say your name. Hello. Uh, Malaika, I decided to study English. This college helped me to quit my old job, which was not well paid. So I'm grateful for learning something new every day in English. Boom. Oh my goodness, Carla, you saved your sister from drowning in the sea? Well done. Superhero status achieved. You don't, man, that's amazing. You don't even have to participate in this, but you should still should. I want you to put that story into this model that we're going to do today. That's amazing. Uh, Carla, or sorry, JB. Yes, Ahmed. Maybe in the job because it's kind of solo one. So sometimes doing the obligations that I don't have to. Okay. Lately, you are a little bit late, but uh, the only thing you have to do right now is probably follow that. Or you could go back and watch the link because we watched a video, a short video about what makes a hero. You could go and watch that and join us again, or you could just hang with us and follow us here. Okay, so there we go. Uh, there we go. So JB says, oh, fully graduated from higher, is that higher studies? Uh, I don't know what's going on with JB's conversation, but he says, not solved a problem, but help me to understand. That could be okay. That's enough for today, JB, so keep that, use that. Abinash, vocab, please. Uh, I'm not sure what, what's the question, Abinash. You're going to have to ask it again. Medhat, I saved my friend's life. Oh my goodness. Superhero status achieved. Well done, Medhat. So that's a story I want to hear. And I'm going to try something a little bit crazy today. We're going to try to write together on the same document if it works. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Okay, so. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. Yes, you could be, your, your problem could be not having something delicious to eat yes you can use that today basically any problem you had you've had in your life you can use that today and we're going to create you into a superhero from that situation okay is everybody ready hello Fedor. <laughs> what's up brother he's in you're a little bit late for this but it's okay you can join so here we go are you ready so now we're going to start and you are going to become a superhero are you ready to become a superhero? I hope so, because here we go. So on the document, so if you don't have that document, let me give it to you one more time, because I want you to do this, and I want you to follow with us step by step. Kareem is good. Uh, Kareem's a busy man. He's uh, everyone who used to stream is super busy now, doing their own thing, so yeah, really busy. All right, so let's go here. So. If you look here, if you look on this document here, today you are going to be a hero in the story of your own life. Are you ready? This is your timeline. Let's fill up your timeline by answering the questions below. So you know all these things. We talked about them in the, they talked about them in the video, right? Status quo, normal life, call to adventure, need an adventure, your assistant, somebody who helped you. So we're going to use these things today. So number one. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. Gertie's got a story of trials and tribulation. Number one, write down two ordinary things. Write down two ordinary things you did in your regular life and one problem. So actually you need another thing. You need three here. It should look like this. So on your document, um, write down two ordinary things. Uh, going to university. I was going to university at the time. And that's about it. Working part time. Mm -hmm. Working part. I'll say living, living in small city. And also write down one problem that you had. Uh, wanted to travel. I wanted to see the world. That was my problem. So there we go. So I got mine there. So first situation was going to university that's what I was doing two regular things and wanted to see the world that was my problem okay so those that's the first part of my story so if you remember this is called your status quo your normal life so please write down those three ideas for your normal life two ordinary things working studying you know what I mean probably one of those two things 
Or maybe you didn't have a job. You weren't working. You weren't studying. And then what was one problem that you had? And this is a very important problem because remember, in your hero story, you're going to come back and you're going to solve that problem. So think about, think about that particular problem. What was the problem? You wanted to be more confident. You wanted to see the world. You, you wanted to get a better job. You had a bad job. You were bored with your job. You didn't know what kind of job you wanted to do, right? Okay, so what was your one problem? And keep that problem because we're going to need it in your superhero story. Let's go. Number two. Okay, so keep coming with us. Try to get those ideas down. Number two. Two, 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 two. Think about one important experience you had in your life and why you did it. Now we talked about this already, right? Uh, so this is the this is your this is the experience that I really want you to talk about. What was the important experience that we talked about in A? Did you save somebody's life? Did you take a school course? Uh, what exactly happened? What was the big important experience that we were talking about in part A? And that's the one I want you to write down. So for me, so again, this is my call, this is my call to adventure. I went to Taiwan, lived in Taiwan for one year. Okay, man, I feel like we're going to run out of time today, and I know it's going to happen. But let's let's keep going. Okay, so I want you to write down your superhero experience. What did you do? Work, what was the experience that changed your life and fixed the previous problem in number one? Okay, so did you travel? Did you take a course? Did you get a job? Did you break up with somebody or did you get together with somebody? What was the experience, the important experience that you had that changed your life? Awesome. Number three. Next one. Think about, this is good, this is fun. Think about one important person. Think about one important person you went on your adventure with and if you don't, if you don't have an important person, that's okay because you can meet somebody on your adventure. Maybe you met somebody really interesting on your travels or in your school course. So I want you to choose one person. You could choose two if you want, but I'll say maybe choose one just to be easier, just to give yourself like a sidekick or a somebody else who helped you on your adventure. Uh, this is your assistance. And if you remember assistance, we talked about that. It, they talked about that in the little video. So who was your assistance? Ooh, good question. Did I have any assistance in Taiwan? Not too much assistance, but who could I say? Ah, yeah, I did have a friend from Canada who kind of helped me, and he kind of helped me to understand what I wanted to do in university as well. So I'm going to say Joseph, because he was a buddy who kind of showed me. He just he was older than me. He taught me some stuff. Ooh, actually, there were a few people. Oh, man, that guy was really cool. His name was Corey. I met two Coreys from Canada in Taiwan. And they were both teachers. And they kind of showed me what was up. They showed me how to just be, I don't know, a little bit older, a little bit more mature. So I watched them a lot. So I'm going to say Corey. Corey was my, uh, one of my guides. And I still talk to that guy. All right, so that's my important person. Showed me the ropes. Exactly. Okay, my husband, Aisha. Very nice. Lali lived in Guadalupe for two years. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. All right, good. Very nice. Mentors. Next one, number four. I've kept this short. We're going to do the mini version of it. So here we go, number four. Think about two little, little problems you had on your adventure. Oh, this is going to be fun. Two little problems you had on your adventure. Not enough money. Uh, difficult course. But again, but be careful because number five is the big problem. So that's going to be the, the monster of your story is number five. But number four is just little problems, little problems. Uh, I couldn't order. I couldn't order food. I can't read Mandarin. So I couldn't order food from the menu. Oh, yeah, it was kind of tough. You know, it's like, what's this? I don't know. It's got all these characters I can't understand. So I just like, sometimes I would just choose and I couldn't order food from the menu. That was a little problem. It wasn't a huge problem, but it was definitely a problem. Another problem I had, my trials. I couldn't order food from the menu, and what was another problem? I definitely couldn't order food from the menu, and I couldn't find clothes that <laughs> fit my size. Couldn't find the right size of clothes, because it's Taiwan. Everybody there is super small, and I'm super tall. So I couldn't find the right size of clothes. So those are my two little problems. Very nice. So tell me what were your little problems on your adventure. I like it. 
Communication problems, yeah. I made a good friend from my next hostel. Boom, so your friend could be a, uh, the character, your assistants in your story. Princess Cat, oh great name. We displaced from our city in Iraq, oh my goodness, to another, and I didn't see my home for three years. Oh my God, that's a, that's a hero story for sure, Princess Cat, that's amazing. And you're home now, and thank the Lord, you're back. That's a great story, perfect for this class. You guys have awesome stories. I'm, I'm impressed, man. I'm liking this. Uh, worked in a tobacco factory, which I learned a lot of things. Interesting. Met my best friend. Boom. Where in Iraq do you live? Yeah, good question. Oh, interesting. All right. Number five. I'm, I'm going ahead a little bit fast, but, uh, but this is cool. I'm liking this. So we just finished our trials, our problems. And now this is the big one. This one is number five. Uh, think about one big, one big problem. Who was your, who was your villain? Who was your, what was the evil, the biggest problem you had on this adventure that we're talking about? Or this uh, important experience, right? So I went to Taiwan. Somebody saved another friend's life. What was the biggest problem? So again, the biggest problem would be probably saving your friend's life. Or finding a visa to go back to this country or... You know what I mean? What was the biggest, this is really the heart of the story, right? It's like, what was the biggest problem you had on this adventure? And I think the biggest problem for me on my adventure with Taiwan was probably becoming, uh, living alone, being alone, uh, being, living alone without, you know, without friends, without close friends or family to support me. Mm, big problem all right so what was your biggest problem so now we're getting to the heart of your story what was the biggest that was the biggest problem you had on this adventure and it's kind of the goal right uh, and from this bad experience you learn you learn so much about yourself and this is really the moment you become the hero so think about a big problem you had the distraction was the biggest one okay there we go you know for some people they said, yeah, saving someone's life, like that's definitely the biggest problem. You had to jump, maybe you had to jump into water and save someone's life or in another way, that's definitely the number one for you guys who had that. So take a moment, write down your biggest problem that you had from this whole experience. Exactly, I was totally homesick too. Yeah, homesick is tough, if, especially if it's the first time you've traveled abroad, you do get homesick. I was homesick after six months. Mm, actually, that's kind of mine too, living alone or being homesick. I was really homesick. Got sick and no health insurance, that's a big one. That's a big problem. That's kind of the culmination of your story, right? Okay. All right, very nice. We're good. And number six. Number six, almost there. How did you overcome this problem? Julian, good luck, buddy. Good luck at work. Big hug, big love. See you soon. Better, it's okay, buddy. Better late than never, man. Uh, so number six is how did you overcome this problem? How did you fix this problem? So, you know, what did you do if you were homesick? What did you do um, if you had to save your friend? What did you do? This is really the moment where you step from confronting the problem to overcoming the problem. So what did I do? Um, I don't know. I just, I made the decision. How did I say it? I just decided to stay. I mean, when I got homesick, I took another vacation. That kind of helped. How did you overcome this problem? I made a commitment to stay for the full year in Taiwan. Because it was difficult. No friends, no family, first time traveling abroad. But I decided, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to stay. I want to finish the year. It was a personal challenge to me. So what did you do to overcome, to fix your problem? Was it one thing? Was it many things? Try to summarize it into like one or two ideas because this is really the, the pinnacle point of your hero story. My friend took me to her house. Okay, good. Moving on from drama and friendship losses is mine. Okay, there we go. All right, that's definitely part of a hero story. Absolutely. Going home. Okay, so there we go. Fixed it by going home. Number six, the way I overcame was trying to focus on working and doing my best in my job. Okay, so there we go. So personal, a little bit of personal uh, perseverance. There's a word for you, yeah? 
working hard to overcome something, just mind over matter. Polish roots do help. Interesting. <laughs> Give me a short explanation on what the lesson is about today. If possible, it, the lesson better is about becoming a superhero. And right now we are creating our own superhero story. So I'm sorry if it, it's going to be hard to catch up, but you might see some interesting stories before the class is done. Last one, number seven, because I want you to actually write today. Here we go, number seven, finally. And there's really nothing you have to say here. Basically, number seven is you come home. You come home and you start a new life and you're a stronger person. You're a stronger version of yourself because of the experience that you had. So this is your return. This is your return. This is your new life. And this is also your resolution to the problem you had in number one. So remember my problem in number one was that I wanted to see the world. And I go back to Canada after being in Taiwan and I saw the world. I saw Thailand. I saw Taiwan. So this was my resolution. So this. So this experience fixed the problem from number one. Baboom. Superhero story completed. All right, so here's what I'm going to try to do. Now we're going to put this all together. We got just enough time maybe to do a little bit of writing. So I would like you to take your information and I want you to try to put it into a superhero story. So now you know this is one of your superhero stories. You were a normal person and you wanted to do this, but your life was normal, you had the status quo, and then you go off, you do this adventure, you have this experience, you overcome it, and then you go back a new person, a stronger person. That is your superhero story. So now you have a superhero story, which is pretty awesome. Yes, you can drink a beer. It's your superhero story, Lolly. It could be an adventure about going to the beer store and choosing the right beer, and you got the most amazing beer. That could be your superhero story. There's no limit on your superhero story. So now, I don't know if this is going to work, but if you guys are inside the document, can you, I'm going to ask you a question, can you type inside the Google document? Because I left the permissions open. So if possible, I would like you to type inside here, inside this document here. I would like you to type inside it. I actually put some spaces for you down here, but I don't know if it's going to work. So if you can, can you please go down in my document and you can go here and I would like you to put your name here and then start writing. I would like to see your superhero story and I'm happy to do any little correction. So you tell me if it's possible for you to go down to my in my document and write anything in here. So please go ahead. Uh, okay, number one. All right, there we go. All right, so let me know, is it possible? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, Judith has got it all. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right, so, no, I'm feeling like no. I see somebody's here. Hello, anonymous cheetah. Go down to the document and you guys can feel free. I don't know if you can type in here. But anyways, this is what I'd like to do. So I'm gonna type my story. See you later, Julian, have a great day, buddy. And if you guys can feel free. I don't think you can type it all in here, but I'm going to try to do my best to type my story. So maybe just for a fun activity, what you guys can do, maybe if you can't do it on here, do it at home. Take out a piece of paper, and I want you to write. Yes, your teacher is giving you homework at this moment. I want you to write your superhero story from 1 to 7. Here we go. I'm going to do mine. I hope you do yours. So let's do it together. That's the best way, isn't it? All right, so superhero story time. Here we go. My writing student name is Kent. It's a view only document. Can I change the permissions? Can edit. It says can edit here, but it doesn't seem to really work. Okay, that's fine. We might have to do it the old school way. Can view. Oh, what's this? Can edit. Okay. Let's try that. Let's see if you guys can edit. It's view only. Try try one more time. I've, I might have changed it. If not, you're going to do it at home. That's fine. That's cool too. So can you go down? I feel like I changed it. Advanced. Do, do, do. I think I changed it. Can edit. Owner. Is owner. Uh -huh. Transferring the owner will be notified. OK. Yeah, okay, maybe no. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's cool. Uh, I think I know how to do it. 
but uh, maybe next time. So what I'd like you to do is, on a piece of paper, please write your... See, someone's here. There's a dingo here. Look, the dingo's doing it. Yay! See, some people are inside. You can go inside. Good. Come inside. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come into the document. This is perfect. Hello. Look at that little rainbow cat. Isn't that awesome right there? I don't know who's the rainbow cat, but that's pretty cool up there. Please write Gertie. Gertie's in the house. Yay! So come here. Grab a space. I don't know how I did that, but I want you to go ahead, put your name, and I want you to write your superhero story. So here we go. So I see four people, approximately four people are in. Gertie's there. She's got a space. There we go. So you can use the document. We got this anonymous dingo who's kind of waiting to write there. So go in, grab a space in the document if you can. We're going to do some writing today. So uh, let's see. How shall I start? Mm -hmm. When I was about 21 years old, I was feeling stuck. I was feeling stuck in a boring routine and didn't feel like I was doing anything at all. One day, I started to think, make that a little bit bigger, started to think about traveling. I started to think about traveling the world. And, and yeah, I tried to think about traveling the world and what I could see. I started looking how to travel. I started looking at how I could travel and decided to take a course to learn to teach English. After the course I got a job, I'm making this a short version of my story, I got a job in Taiwan. Come on. I went there, but it was hard. I couldn't order, I couldn't order food from the menu. because it was in Mandarin and I couldn't there we go get in there Dumbo Octopus <laughs> great name I couldn't find clothes that fit me oh what a hero's struggle I couldn't find the clothes which fit me horrible man horrible now where am I at next uh, I couldn't find clothes that fit me then Okay, I might change my story a little bit. Then one day, it was hard. It was hard living in another country. Actually, I'm going to change my story a little bit because I found a better story. I was feeling homesick. I'm going to be like, you know what? I'm kind of like Lolly. I was feeling homesick. I was feeling really homesick. After about six months, and life was really hard. My friend Corey, I gotta introduce my assistants. My friend Corey was a big inspiration to me. We had some funny times together. Something about being in a real karaoke bar and drinking too much. Very funny story, maybe I'll tell you sometime. It was a big inspiration. He showed me how to be an adult and to handle myself in difficult situations. One day, I was feeling so homesick, homesick, that I thought about going home, back to Canada. 
but I decided no I'm going to take a vacation to Thailand instead so when I was feeling homesick I just went to another country and I went to Thailand you know Thailand is pretty amazing there's beaches there's cheap food everything's really amazing there so I went to Thailand to fix my homesickness what a hero so I went to Thailand instead and cured my homesickness my homesickness what a hero go to Thailand cure your homesickness love it so I cured my homesickness um, after one year I returned to Canada like a hero in Thailand I returned to Canada uh, smarter wiser <laughs> you know me super wise return to Canada smarter wiser and more mature nee, 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 nee. more mature man. I traveled the world I learned more I learned about the world so I solved my previous problem I learned about the world and myself and continued to travel not last year I didn't get to travel last year travel the world as much as humanly possible kintly possible ba -ba! superhero story completed high five woo all right let's see what other people are writing all right Gertie's in the process here uh, okay who else we got here oh no only Gertie <laughs> Oh no, Gertie, I appreciate your effort. That's great. So anyways, I guess that's fine. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed creating your own superhero story. And I would like you to write your, your superhero story. If you want, I think this is a great idea. You can write your superhero story and you can send it to me. You can email me and I will check it for you. You have my link because I always send you my link. So homework. Finish your story. Finish your superhero story. And send it to me. I will check it. I will check your story. I will make any corrections. I will give you a little analysis of your English. I'm just curious to hear these superhero stories because I think you guys had a lot of awesome ones. So there we go. And I've taught you the formula. So the next time you watch a superhero movie, check the formula is it exactly the same I hope I hope it is and maybe that's useful so there you go I taught you how to be a superhero I taught you the formula to go through and become a superhero in your own life maybe you go to the beer store and you become a superhero maybe you have some lazy student in your class and you become a superhero whatever it is it's possible to write that superhero story so I hope you guys enjoyed that I personally got way too excited about that I really like that I really like story writing uh, didn't have enough time to finish Gertie let's see what you got here moved to Barcelona but my scholarship was suspended by the government so here's another superhero story my scholarship was suspended by the government and I was without one dollar and apart from my family oh my goodness I had to eat every day in the hospital where I was studying and I had to sleep in the hallway every day oh my goodness so not even in a bed sleeping in the hallway I got sick and my friend took me to her home because I didn't have health insurance. Oh my God, this is like, a, I, something's gonna happen in this story, that's amazing. Gertie, keep writing, send it to me, I'll be happy to check it once you're done. So there we go, and if you want, you guys can also access this document or send it to me. I'm curious to read your superhero story. I hope you guys enjoyed that. This, this buzzer in my pocket, the vibration in my pocket tells me that the class is over. Uh, this topic needs more than just one hour. I agree, Brahim. I should have just jumped into this topic without the video and we would have had more time to write. But like I said, your teacher has given you homework. Please do your homework and I'm happy to check it out because I had too much fun doing this activity. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. My email, I believe it's connected to my Google Docs, but I will send it to you. Please don't distribute my email to the world. Uh, I will give you this email here. Uh, do, 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 which one is better, that one, 
Okay, this is only for you guys. Please don't share my email with the world. Oops, sorry. Uh, there's an at in there. Okay, there it is. I've done it. This is the first time I've ever shared my email. So I, I hope everything, nothing goes wrong. Anyways, there you go. Go be a superhero. I hope you guys enjoyed that lesson. I certainly thought it was quite awesome. I just want to end with that in the background because thanks. Thanks, Joker. Superheroes. Have a great day, everybody. See you next week. Same smart time, same smart place. Don't forget your homework. 2 p.m. Wednesday, 2 p.m. Thursday. One more time with the Joker. Let me just see that one more time. Yeah, awesome. Have a great day, everybody. Great weekend. See you next week.